So the Rational Unified Process, or RUP, as it's more commonly known, is divided to four different process phases. Inception, Elaboration, Construction and Transition. On this first presentation, we will be talking about the first phase, Inception, and what are the objectives in Inception, and what are we actually doing in the Inception. First of all, the idea behind Rational Unified Process is that there's workflows and phases. The phases are basically something from waterfall model, but they actually aren't because on each phase there's different workflows for different activities like requirements, analysis, design and implementation. So on the inception, the first phase, the idea is that we do requirements work. The, to collect uh, the requirements, the ideas and objectives and the attributes of the new software from our future customers to understand what sort of things we have to have. This is the main work of inception phase. Additionally, we also start the analysis workflow and design workflow to understand the actual technical requirements or functional and non-functional requirements and also get the idea on applied platform and also on the actual technical restrictions of the set platform and other uh, problems that might arise so that we don't run into any catastrophic problems later in the design phase or construction. Also, there's a small amount of implementation there, simply because in the inception phase we already do some development or programming work. For example, to develop a prototype for a user interface or, or doing some proof of concept tests on our system to get the idea if the uh, product idea or the product first design is something that actually can be implemented. So these are the implementation workflows and the test workflow is more or less thinking about the test plan, doing pre-testing activities, uh, designing user interface or uh, doing other additional things like stress testing uh, server clusters to understand what are the limitations of the uh, environment we are going to be using. So, the inception has the following objective. The project scope, and extent and business needs are defined. It's important to understand that the inception phase isn't actually strongly committed to developing the entire project or entire product that's based on the project. Because in the inception phase, the idea is that we study the business, study the monetary issues here and how much it would, for example, cost to develop the software. This means that the inception also can result in a project that said that it's not economically feasible, so we simply disband the project at this point. The actual design work, the architecture definition work, is something that happens in elaboration. And during the inception, the idea is to create the domain model and the business model. The uh, first and most important thing is to gain understanding of the domain in which we work, meaning that if we are building something for the airport security, we would have to understand how airport security works. Also, if we are building something for a video game system or game console system, we would have to understand what sort of things are usually made for this type of console and what sort of audiences we have. Also, uh, the final example here, if we build something for the uh, for the law companies to handle their documentation work, we would have to understand what sort of documentation the law firms actually handle. This is the number one of this bullet point here. The second bullet point, the business model, is more or less the precursor of the use cases. So, 
uh, for system, it means that we understand how it functions. So what are the main activities we will be doing or the main uh, features or objectives that or problems that the software has to solve. Uh, based on these two ideas, understanding the domain where we are working and what sort of activities we are doing, then the idea is to delimit the scope of the project so that it actually solves the problem but isn't too costly or complicated. After that, we make the initial business cases, use cases, and start drafting the class definitions. So basically, the deliverables of inception, inception phase are the initial version of domain model and business model, also the different requirements, the preliminary version of analysis artifacts and architecture, which are later uh, completed or add, uh, more details are added to them to make them something that functions. The initial list of risks, the initial ordering of the use cases, uh, plan for the elaboration phase and the initial version of business case. So basically all the things that are needed to actually define functional architecture and make something that function, uh, fulfills the problem we are trying to solve. So, going into a couple of examples here. This is the business model. So, it's a precursor to use cases, like I said earlier. We identify some of the people or people groups or systems who might be using the, uh, using the software or artifact we are building. It doesn't necessarily have to be a simple uh, software. It can be an entire information system. We have different activities and we have relations between these activities. This is something that's later fulfilled as a use case. The simple domain model is a class diagram where we list the different concepts and how they are related to each other and what sort of information we should be saving from each of these concepts. It's used to understand what sort of things we have and it's more or less the basis for BCE analysis and for example, for example something like database definitions. So, the domain model, uh, it gives us the domain classes, the attributes, associations and we can also add stuff into these models or a domain model and business model by attaching nodes like one here. Since we aren't doing anything technically uh, highly defined, we can just add comments if there's something that's difficult to understand or impossible to convey with UML symbols. For example, things like if, like rule here, if a person is not employed by a company then they do not have a car, means here that they can't have company car if they, uh, if they are not employed, but since they are a person, they more or less can own a car. Anyway, the idea is that we get everything ready in the inception phase, and we know that if we are going to create this software, we will have something that's commercially feasible, that's doable with the platform, has a concept, that we know will function if it's com created as a full software since we are building prototypes and proof of concept models and we have a sort of an idea how to start building the thing. That's the idea of inception phase and on after that after the inception we go to elaboration where we start doing the analysis work. 